Tough. All right, folks, 103-pound weight class. Justin Bellis of High Point with the back points. He beat Pat Healy of Jefferson 9-4. I mean, my first year on varsity, pretty much, because I've been stuck behind Nick Fagavilla. So, I mean, it feels good to get an opportunity to win districts, you know, and start a lineup at 103. Gunning for a, Talk uh, about that a little bit. you got a state uh, champ in front of you, Billy Gould, you're rolling around the room. How much does that prepare you for a match like today? Oh, man, it's great. I mean, they work me hard in practice, you know. They get me ready for, I mean, districts just like this. So, I mean, it pays off when you work hard. 112, Nick Francovello of High Point with a reversal on his way to a 4 nothing win over Kevin Churchill of Newton. I just wrestle the same match I always do when I wrestle Kevin. Normally we go, he kind of tries to get by the first period without a score, and then it's a match from there. So normally if I get my takedown, I know I should be good. So pretty much running with that game plan. This has been a different year for you this year, moving up a weight class. You had some injury issues. How are you feeling now? I feel good at 12s. I mean, I feel bigger. The 19-pounders are so hard to move. It makes such a difference. I mean, I thought I'd be able to handle it, but I was coming out of practice at 18, so Gould obviously was hurt, so I figured I'd drop down. 119, Billy Gould of High Point takedown. He beat Derek Conrad of Kittany 4-3. Um, I, I knew coming into today that I was going to have a good warm-up match, my first match. And then coming here in the finals, I knew I had to stick it out tough. Going for, know that it was my last time, my last year doing it. Going for my three-time district, and I got it. Conrad had been wrestling so well. He beat Antero. What was your game plan going against Ooh. him? Um, I, I watched their two, those two's matches, and uh, I seen that Derek, Derek likes to put in the legs. And when I came in here, I said, I got I to gotta try to defend on the legs. But that didn't work out in my favor too much. But still came out with the win. I feel great about it. Good luck to Antero and Conrad in the regions. Hope to see you in there. 125, Garrett Scavani of KT. The back points on the roll through tilt. He beat Zach Depini of Walk Hill Valley 7 to 5. It feels incredible. And uh, I mean, my family's been here for me the whole way. My grandpa and my uncle came and gave me huge hugs with their eyes full of tears, and I couldn't have done without them. Just talk about wrestling Zach Depini. You lost to him in a heartbreaker last year. You lost him in the regular season. What was the difference today? Um, I think that I just wanted it more than he did. Um, I mean, I haven't beat him since. I caught him in a headlock freshman year. So this means a ton to me. And it just shows that whoever wants it more is going to get it. 1.30, Clark Moynihan of Cantini with a takedown. On his way to a 7-0 yeah. win over Stephen Churchill. Feels amazing. All my hard work has paid off. Just feels great. Last year you were a runner-up to Drew Wagonoff, or this year you were able to get the title. What has been the difference for you this season? Well, just a lot of weight training and conditioning, working out at Sean Hall's during the summer. That really helped me out a lot. Just working really hard this summer. 135 high points, Drew Wagonhofer with the takedown. He beat Sean Lombardi of KT 9 to nothing. The first three years, you know, freshman year was kind of hard, you know, a little nervous, nerve-wracking because, you know, freshman year, you know, really not all the kids win it. So that was kind of hard. Then, you know, after that, you know, it's just easy. For uh, sophomore and junior year, you should be able to do that if you're a freshman, you know, just keep it going. 140, Jefferson's Mike Monarch with a takedown on his way to an 8-5 to five win over high points, Tom D'Avantonio. It feels, feels really good. It was tough. But I was looking forward to it all year. Coming uh, last two years being runner-up in districts was uh, tough. And I knew that this could be my year. So uh, I trained real hard and stuff, but I think I deserve it. 145, Chris Burge of KT with a takedown. He won over Joey Gashione 7 3. I knew what to expect more, and I could work off of it. I've been working with my coaches on what to do, and I used my brain a little more than I usually do, and helped that. You go into wow. into regions as a district champ again, but up a, a couple weight classes. What are your hopes to do at Walk Hill Valley? Well, the same thing pretty much. I know those are big hopes, but at senior year, why not? 152, Ethan Noor of High Point takedown. He beat Anthony Vasily of Jefferson 12-4. It feels, feels great. I don't know. Kind of came into this looking that I wanted to win it, and it happened. Ethan, How big was the, the experience that you had the last two years making the finals as a freshman and sophomore? How did that help you today? Uh, it, more experience. The more experience you get, the better you can do in pressure and everything else. Um, I, I think I did pretty good out there. Didn't really get nervous. Didn't get shook enough before the match. Just went out and wrestled my match, and I got a win. 
160, Johnny Guzzo of High Point with a takedown on his way to a 5-2 win over Evan Bowlby of Walk Hill Valley. It's great. Uh, it's proud to say that it's actually the first tournament I've won in high school, surprisingly. Let's just talk about that. You know, the injuries last year, you transferred him from Blair. It must have seemed like this was a long time coming to get this title. Yeah, the injuries hold me back all the time. I, don't, I feel like I'm always falling apart. And uh, it's like I gain so much ground and then I get hurt. And I lose it and i got to gain it back. It just takes forever. Where are you at right now physically? Physically, I'm, I'm still hurt. I hurt my knee. Uh, i got to wrestle with a brace now, as you can see. And it just irks me and restricts me. And I'm ready to get my knee surgery after the season and no longer wrestle in a brace. 171, Ryan Callahan of Walk Hill with a takedown. He won a major over Stephen Mihail of Newton. Yes, I mean, it was good just uh, getting a good six minutes in there. Um, I mean, it's the first step to state title, so everyone's got to do it. So, um, Last year you lost in the final, won the region, and got to the state final. What's going to be the difference for you this year? Uh, I think I'm just going to know to turn it up now. I mean, just go harder than all season. And uh, this week's going to be a good training week as well as the week after that. So I'm just going to step it up. Just talk about the season you're having. A great season, uh, closing in on, you just passed Cody for the school wins mark, have a chance to pass Tommy Spellman, you beat Fisig Harrow down to Jackson. Just been a great season. Uh, yeah, so far. Um, I mean, I'm just staying focused, doing the right thing, you know. Uh, it's been a good season so far, and I mean, I learned from last year just making mistakes like in the district finals, but so far the season's going just as I planned. 189, Eric Bach of yeah, Kansas with a takedown on his way to a 5-1 to one win and over and High here. Point's Gavin Donahue. It's a real good feeling, you know, I, I took second last year, I lost in overtime ride out, and that, you know, kind of sucked, so I just wanted to win it this year, so it feels real good. What was the key today? Yeah, Donnie was a tough kid, you've wrestled uh, him, you wrestled out, his brother, uh, what was the key for you today? Uh, speed, I've been working a lot on my, on quickness and, you know, explosiveness and shots on my feet and stuff, so it worked a lot. How much, like you said last year, was a tough loss to Russell Jones from Pope John. How much was that burning in your belly to get back here this year? Uh, it was it was burning bad, especially because, you know, he went down, took top 12 in the state, and I stayed home. So it was def it definitely worked so I could be more ambitious this year. 215, Billy Smith of High Point gets the pin over Matt Simpson of Kittatinny. Jumping up from 171 to 215 this year definitely was, uh, it was a good choice for me, but it was awfully... Uh, a lot of hard work in the room, different two, two different styles uh, from 171s to 215s. And uh, definitely uh, working with Gardner and uh, some other people that graduated coming back to help me is uh, definitely helped me out in the 215 weight class. Today, uh, you, you had the only fall, I think, of the whole district tournament. Take me through the penny combination. Well, uh, I knew kids hitting wrestlers are pretty tough on bottom, you know, they're hard to turn. So coach told me to let them up, and I did that about three times. and. Uh, the opportunity was there, and I threw a half in, got a one-on-one -on, -one on the other side, and stuck him. Heavyweight, Newton's Evan Krustick with reversal. He got by high points, Trevin Papermeyer, 6-5. to five. And there you have your district champions. It was an exciting match. I mean, some, at points I couldn't tell if I was down or up. At the end, I didn't even know if I won the match. I just got up and looked at our, our fans going crazy, and that's when I knew I won it. He Just talk about if you can even remember that last move, you got that reversal. He had pretty much had taken some control, and you got those points to make it a 7-4 victory. I mean, obviously, it was a controversial play. I could have gone either way. Um, I mean, luckily, I got, it came my way, but uh, he wrestled great, and I don't know, he came out fired up. It was an exciting match.